congratulations mr khera and uh, uh, you know it's quite the defeat uh, for the bjp and a sweep for the congress in karnataka first up we're talking about who will be chief minister and uh, that meeting will take place today itself thank you so much and uh, let us first uh, give us some time to at least enjoy the victory <laughs> why do you ask difficult questions because that will uh, make it more challenging <laughs> for the congress of, uh, itself <laughs> it will be a problem for the congress itself if you let this fester too long there is no problem at all and uh, let the legislative party meet and then whatever they communicate to the leadership will be the decision All right. What is the impact? Do you and we've been talking about this in studio about what this means for 2024. I know you right now you're just enjoying the victory, but you know we have to analyze all these, uh, you know, the figures and what it means in in the political realm. So, what do you think this victory for the Congress means for 2024? I think uh, what this victory, like Himachal, signifies, is the is the counter narrative brought about by the Bharat Jodo Yatra. what we were lacking was that uh, even when we spoke the truth i think we whispered our truth and they lied loudly that's that's what has changed both in himachal and in karnataka now we are heard and does the credit for that or go to you know the fact that on the ground you had a mr dk shiv kumar sita ramaya all of them were working we were speaking to one of the campaign managers and he said we've not had a day of rest for the last 2 years so that sort of energy the fact that if you you know push that energy on the ground because you've been talking about you know poverty about uh, inflation about price rise in other states as well but it somehow has not translated uh, into support the way it has today in karnataka and that that means the message got across no of course the 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 energy of our, of our leadership in 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 the state the guidance of mr kharge who is a very seasoned man and also happens to be from that state our young uh, campaigners our young leaders like rahul ji and priyanka ji i think it everything fell into place and our narrative was something which uh, which had a lot of resonance across the entire state All right, and we're hearing that the meeting that the Congress uh, today itself, uh, the Congress will be meeting there in Bengaluru to decide on the chief ministership, and they're going to leave it to the high command. You know, our process: uh, the CLP meets and they decide whatever decision, whatever resolution the CLP makes is what the party uh, leadership then finally uh, goes by. All right, and uh, so. tell us what is it the congress feels really worked for them uh, or in during your campaigns uh, rahul gandhi just spoke about how those five guarantees is something that the congress will take up first and foremost as soon as the government is formed and is that what you credit for this victory today uh, our faith in the country's resilience gets restored today the country is very resilient towards the kind of hatred that was being forced upon um, by by the by the leadership by the prime minister the home minister the chief minister of uttar pradesh the kind of narrative they tried to bring to karnataka was uh, rejected very decisively i mean uh, we were talking about the day to day issues livelihood issues lives of people potholes in bangalore and they were talking about bajrang bali and reducing bajrang bali to the level of bajrang dal i think this got decisively rejected by the people of karnataka and that restores the faith all of us have in this country's ability to reject reject hatred all right uh, coming back to the issue uh, you know this template that we uh, that the uh, congress has found has worked for it in karnataka the learning from there is this something we're going to see translate into other state going into elections for example in uh, rajasthan going forward the yeah, obviously any any election going state has its own regional flavor has its own regional issues and compulsions and uh, dynamics so uh, uh, we'll uh, respect the dynamics of the state and accordingly we'll have a template we can't have one size fit all in all states i mean different states respond to different narratives right and we were discussing uh, we were talking here about the you know revolving door politics that we've seen in karnataka and uh, that was something the bjp was trying to fight against to ensure that you know they come back again in karnataka but uh, what would you credit this victory for the congress's victory the fa- is because the bjp is trying to say that that is a big issue the fact that karnataka always did change their government 
No, but uh, so did Kerala, so did Uttarakhand, but things changed there. But they couldn't beat that trend uh, here in Karnataka. There is a reason, because of the over-dependence on the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister made the entire camp campaign about himself. Last 15 days, it was just his face all across the, the state in Karnataka, whether it was advertisements in the newspapers, whether it was billboards, everything, everywhere, wherever you look, it was the Prime Minister. So I hope he takes the responsibility of this defeat now. <laughs> and the credit for this victory? People of Karnataka, every single worker of Karnataka. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We'll leave it there. Congratulations, uh, uh, Pavan Khera and uh, the Congress. They're leading in 138 seats uh, currently as those numbers are being counted. The BGP at 63. So a sweep for the Congress in Karnataka. We'll slip into a short break and return with more.